Okay, let us pick it back up here. So where we left off, we discussed sequencing, right? So sequencing obviously a super important piece of our entire workflow here, right? Now, what you're gonna figure out or, or see as we go through, Apollo is a very complex tool in terms of the amount of capabilities, right? I don't think that any one particular action is tricky per se, but it does take practice, right? So let's talk about a little bit of a more advanced or sophisticated sequencing style here, right? Let's say that we want to do something along the lines of, I am reaching out to a company and the companies that I reach out to are generally on the smaller side, right? So their company names are going to be things like Mike Falco Inc. or Mike Falco LLC or Smart Consulting LLC or Smart Reach, um, you know, Smart Reach Inc., right? With a period. When we send our emails out, that is the number one indicator from a prospect standpoint that we are doing a ton of cold outreach, which we need to avoid, right? So what do we do there? There's something in Apollo called if then logic, right? And it, it applies to scenarios where we have a preferred or an ideal outcome and then a placeholder or a revert to if the most ideal does not exist or isn't possible. Okay. So one example that I use all the time is with um, the account names, like I was just mentioning. Okay. So we have our account name, which we can very easily insert into a sequence, but then we also have our preferred account name, right? So what I have my teams do is I have them come into the contact side, and this is going to be covered in another section, but they come into the custom fields area, right? And you can see here, I'm a big fan of these custom fields because Apollo is one of the only solutions that allows you to dynamically pull this information into your sequences. Okay. So you can see here, I have two different columns for company name. I have the original, which is just sitting on the company side, right? And then I have the company name for outreach. Okay. So the company name for outreach is going to be the Mike Falco LLC shortened to Mike Falco, right? It's that simple. Now, let's say we have a company that is perfectly named for us, right? So let's say the company's name is Smart Reach, right? We don't want to shorten that. We don't want to come up with a different name for outreach. It's a simple enough name. It's one word and there's no indicator of LLC, Inc., um, Incorporated, anything that would tell us, hey, this is probably a mail merge coming from this field to the next field, right? So we're going to use that example here. Um, and we could just think about the scenario where A, they have a already ready for outreach name, right? Or we don't have a ready for outreach name. And if we don't have a ready for outreach name and we have the name company name for outreach as the field in the sequence, that's going to stop everybody from going through that does not have that field complete. Okay. Even if the company name is clean as is. So how do we tackle that? How do we get ahead of it? Right? So one way that we do this and, and we'll start with our new sequence here again. Um, let's just say testing, testing. Okay, and I come in here. Let's say I was doing a manual email here, correct? Um, and let's just say I wanted to notate, let us first prioritize the company name for outreach if it exists. If not, then let's revert to the regular company name. So as long as we're doing outreach to people that have an account associated with them, right? We are going to be able to get these emails out. It's just a matter of which field do we use? And we're prioritizing the shorter, more compact, easier to read field over the other. But if we need the other, it's there, you know, on the back end. So here's what I'm going to go ahead and do a little pause here and just kind of uh, figure out the mechanics of this. But when we come back, we're going to see um, and if this exists, use it. If not, then use this. Okay. So hold on, please. Okay, we're back. So here's what we could see here. This is kind of what I pulled together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and we're gonna go ahead and see this in, in real time here. So 
let's use me as an example. Okay. So I want to just go over to Apollo really quick and I want to just pull up my profile. So let's just think through this, right? Or let's see, what's my name in here? Falco. That is my name, right? Yeah, pretty sure. Okay, cool. So let's come over here. Let's look at my custom fields. And if we were to look at for outreach, right? I have company name for outreach equal to blank, right? Now you can also tell here, let's just say, um, let's just say I'm associated with option. Okay. So we could see the company name for outreach is equal to blank, right? We could also see that my account or profile has an account associated with it. So if I were to come in here and do something like this, right? And say, um, uh, looking for smoother outbound processes. Okay, so what do we see here, right? Let's just walk through this together because this is a really important piece and it looks way trickier than it is. <laughs> so what are we saying? We're saying if company out name for outreach is not equal to blank, right? That's what this lack of text means, right? Then use the company name for outreach or else use the company name, okay? So this is a very straightforward example or use case that we're going with here, but I just wanna run you guys through two examples. One where this company name for outreach field is filled in and another one where it's not. So first we're going to use my profile here. And as we discussed a minute ago, the company name for outreach is blank, meaning that if we were to come in here and test, right. And say, Hey, I want to see what this looks like for Falco, right? It's just going to pull in this account name, right? And that's the name that is associated with my, my profile here. Now, if I were to come in here and put in my real company, right. And I were to say, company name for outreach is actually going to be equal to right and we do something like that and then we hit save right and then we give this a little bit of time come over here let's refresh Apollo takes a little bit um, but if we were to come in here and I was to paste that again and just say testing on this right and then I were to just check that again what we should see here everybody is mike falco consulting right because we prioritize that over the normal company name okay so let's check how that worked and it's very possible this might not because apollo takes just a little bit to um kind of catch up to us but it did work this time okay so we could see the mike falco consulting so we can see here how useful this is going to be for us right um if you have a question around what are these things that we should be prioritizing, please feel free to reach out. I'm going to do a small section on it later, but um, throughout my six years of, of doing sales development, I think that where most people miss the mark here is failing to a find their success hook, right? So what's the thing that's most likely to bring you in meetings um, and b not prioritizing or knowing how to, double down on that, but then not throw away the baby with the bathwater, right? Like if we have company name for outreach and that's our number one hook, which it never would be, but let's just say, right? Let's say that we don't have that. The default should not be a generic crappy email, right? The default next should go from company name for outreach to let's say employee count, or then let's say X, Y, Z, right? A list of factors that we think are going to influence positive results and positive outcomes we should reference those more as a trickle down effect rather than a, if this exists, great. If not default to the worst option that we have. That's what most teams are doing out there. That's what I would like to see you and your team not do. Okay. So um, any questions on that, please feel free to reach out. I will put the snippet of that. Uh, if else then in our, um, in our uh, notes section of, of this lecture. Okay. Thank you everyone. Appreciate it.